In this video, I am taking a small acrylic painting on paper and I'm going to use it to start a pastel painting on sanded paper. The paper that I have taped to my board is UART sanded paper and the grit is 280. And I usually do the other way around. I will take a portion of a pastel and start an acrylic painting, but here I'm taking an acrylic painting and I'm going to start a pastel. I'm going to do an underpainting on this paper with black water soluble oil paints and a stiff brush. I really like using water soluble oils on the sanded paper and creating some really active brush strokes that really is a good foundation for me to get started and I really like the black in this painting on paper and so I really want to keep the feel of that although I know the finished pastel is not going to look anything like the acrylic painting and that's not my intention. And then I go in and start adding some color with the underpainting and I'm still sticking with the water soluble oils and adding some turquoise underpainting and I just want to get this foundation so that I can go back in and start adding some of my pastels. So I really enjoy this part of the process and just being nice and loose and painterly with it because I know those painterly brush strokes are going to affect the outcome of my finished pastel. And then I add a little bit of red, kind of a rust color. I just want to get kind of the same feel, the same foundation on this piece of you art paper and I'm using a fan brush now a fan brush and this is just a little one but it gives a whole different type of a brush stroke and with the water soluble oils I do try to not use too much water because the more water I use with the oils the more fluid they become and they become like a wash and I really want to keep those strong brush strokes but I'm just wanting to get that foundation down although you know the colors may be somewhat different there will be a different feel to this final pastel painting and now I'm starting to go in with some mark making and I'm choosing some charcoal some graphite I want to choose some materials that are not going to be really soft like a soft pastel because I want to get some of the lines that I see that are in the underpainting of the acrylic painting and so I'm using some graphite and some charcoal and again I'm using my fan brush and a little bit of rubbing alcohol to set that mark making down on my sanded paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in some hard pastel and as a lot harder consistency than a soft pastel. So the hard pastels that I'm using are probably Prismacolor and I'm just putting in some mark making this. I like to start with the hard pastels with um, pastel paintings because it's another way to get a thin layer of mark making and color. And then I finish up with the really soft pastel. So again, I'm using my acrylic painting on paper to guide where I put some of these marks and where I put the color but I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I really need to just use it as a guide. Then I will look through my collection of soft pastels and start choosing some soft pastels that I can use 
and I like to clean them and also test the colors on a paper towel and I can compare to my acrylic painting the colors that I'm choosing and so I'll be looking at some blue greens some olives brown some red orange and again not trying to copy what I see in the acrylic painting but just choosing colors that I think will go together in this pastel on sanded paper. So I test them, I clean them off, then I start to line them up. I'm also choosing some neutrals. As you can see here, I've got some grays, some olive, some yellow ochre, some rust color, and then I start looking for some greens, blue-green, greenish-gray, some gray. The acrylic painting really helps me kind of look for some variations in color. Now I begin to lay in some of my softer pastels and I tend to use the side of the pastels more than the tip. I save the tip for some lines, some thin fluid lines. So the side of the pastel would be more like using a wide brush in a painting. And I, if I use the side of the pastel, it's going to make it much easier for me to continue to layer throughout this final stage of the pastel painting. 